Penn is known for making bomb-proof reels that can take on some large fish. Does the pursuit, however, hold up to that pen promise? Let's find out in today's video. Let's just go over the specs real quick on the reel that I have in my hand right here. The model I have with me here is the PURIV6000, which means this is a 6,000 size reel. It has five bearings. The drag is coming in at 20 pounds. The weight is 21.4 ounces. This is a 5.6 to one gear ratio reel. The line capacity is 25 pound test for 210 yards, and the MSRP is about $75. Let's go over the features real quick on this reel right here. So on the Penn website, it says they have an HT100 carbon fiber drag washers. It says it has a lightweight and corrosion resistant graphite body. It has four sealed stainless steel ball bearings. So that's four there, and then the one instant anti-reverse bearing. So that's the four plus one, which is why I said five in the, uh, you know, in the specs part of it. Machined and anodized aluminum spool. It has the super line spool and line capacity rings along with it. I don't know all those features, but I do know a couple of them, like the carbon fiber drag washer and the corrosion resistant graphite body are huge for anyone wanting to pursue saltwater fish. I actually had a pink salmon in Washington completely burn up a, dra a felt drag washer in one of my Shimano Naskis. I have since replaced it with a carbon fiber drag washer in there and it's been awesome. So I'm super pumped that they threw that in here on this reel. Um, also the corrosion resistant graphite body for for salt water is huge. You got to have that for salt water stuff. Even if you just wash off your reels with fresh water after every ocean trip, you're still bound to get gunk in there um, and really lock up your reel. So it is kind of cool. It's another little feature that they help kind of seal up that reel and, uh, you know, help you face the elements. As for looks, this is a very, very simple reel all black and gray. Um, some of the other ones, like the Pen Fierce, is like a red and black. I believe the Pen Battle is the gold and black. So this one, they went really, really plain with it. Um, there is a couple minor features on the new one, because this is, I believe, the older model. Um, just a couple little uh, outside looks in terms of they change colors on certain spots, as well as the handle on the larger ones is now more of a round knob, not this kind of like football looking one here. So a couple small changes, but overall, Pretty plain looking reel, and I'm okay with that. Saltwater reels don't need to be shiny and fancy. They need to get the job done and take a big fish, right? As for the durability, I kind of talked about it already. That graphite body is going to really help, you know, against the saltwater stuff. This is, would be a great reel for freshwater stuff too. This thing definitely feels heavy in your hand. It feels like a pen reel. Like, pen is known for just making tank reels. Um, super durable. I bet you could drop this from like a one story and I bet it, it wouldn't be broke. A 20 pound drag is also really nice too. And because you have those carbon drag washers in there, you're probably not going to burn them up. They're going to last you even on a, a big, big fish. As for feel, um, it feels pretty nice in your hands. I like when those upgraded reels come with a little better, uh, you know, knob to hold, especially on big fish that definitely matters. Some of my larger reels, like the cheaper reels, the handle in here will be one of the first things to go and it'll kind of bend a little here. It'll also be very hard to reel it afterwards. My Akuma Avengers have since done that on me, um, but they were more of a plastic spool. I like to see that this is more of that metal, almost kind of Daiwa looking handle on there. Um, it's really comfortable to use. It's very, very, very just smooth and easy to use. My only complaint is that it is a very heavy reel. So after using this all day, you'd probably be pretty tired. But let's face it, you're most likely not using this to like cast something all day, right? You're using this because you're chunking out bait for catfish or, um, you know, uh, you're chunking out a, a stingray head for sharks or you're doing something along those lines where it's in a rod holder and it's not moving, right? Like it's just sitting there and you're waiting for a bite. So the only time you're really going to hold it is when you're actually fighting the fish, then it goes back in the rod holder. So in that case, if that's what you're using it for, weight doesn't really matter that much, right? Also, it's a pen. Like, you're not going to get a super light reel. Pen is not known for making light reels. They're known for making bomb-proof reels. If you really want to meet in the middle on that sensitivity and durability factor, you're probably going to have to go more with a Shimano or a Daiwa reel, and you're probably going to be spending a lot more money for that as well. So for 75 bucks, uh, the durability is what I'm paying for, not for that lightweight reel, right? 
If I want a light rate reel, I'll go get a Shimano. If I want a absolute bomb proof reel for giant, giant fish, pen's a pretty good way to go. As for versatility, um, this is mainly gonna be a saltwater reel. 100% you can use this in freshwater too. It's gonna work for both, but this is definitely more geared towards saltwater because it does have that seal, you know, that sealed body in there. Um, there is a decent amount of sizes with this, anywhere from a 2,500 to an 8,000. So there's kind of a large range of fish, of, of species in there, you know, that you can target. Um, you know, some inshore stuff like rockfish, link cod, stuff just off the bank casting, you know, but then your big, big ones like this guy, right? Your 6,000 size, uh, pretty heavy reel, but this is going to be awesome for some of those big game fish like sharks, rays, some of those things like that. Even a big catfish. I'd, I'd put this, this would be put to the test on like a big flathead or a blue catfish down south, I bet. As for casting, Cast fine, you know, especially you're going to be using heavier lures typically with this. This is not like an ultralight finesse thing. So typically you're not going to have any worry in terms of casting stuff because that weight is going to launch that thing out there anyways. But yeah, no hiccups on casting for this. As for the price, I think for 70, 80 bucks, I think it's a pretty good, pretty good deal for this. Uh, I would compare this to like the Daiwa BG, which is coming in at about a hundred dollars. Um, I think it's, is those two are pretty good to kind of compare with each other. The Daiwa is definitely lighter than this, but I think both of them feel about the same amount of durability with them. So I think if that lightweight factor really matters to you, then the, the BG may be your better move. They both hold about the same amount of line. I would use them both for the same thing. So it's just kind of on you if, if there's a certain one that you like a little bit more. This one is a little cheaper. It's about 30 bucks cheaper, in fact. 30 to 40 bucks, actually. So if you are looking to save some money on a big game reel, then I think this would be a little better option for you. Let's go over the pros and cons real quick of kind of what I've talked about with this reel. As for the pros, this is a very durable reel. Obviously, it's a pen. Like, they don't make a non-durable piece of equipment. It's also got a great drag. Those carbon fiber drag washers are an awesome feature to have, especially in a sub $100 reel. So that's kind of cool that they threw that in here on this. It's, all, it's also well priced. I mean, 70, 70 to 80 bucks is a really good deal for this, especially for guys that are wanting to, to target catfish, striper, sturgeon, sharks, you know, big game fish species, and they don't want to break the budget. Great price for it. The as for cons, I already talked about it. It's a bit heavy, right? For, for just casting all day, maybe the smaller sizes you'd be fine, but for the bigger ones, ooh, man, your arms would be, your arms would be wiped at the end of the day. So wrapping up here, I think this is a great overall reel for big game stuff, you know, sturgeon, striper, catfish. Um, there are so many fish species I'm leaving out here, but a lot of saltwater stuff. I think for, for guys that are wanting a, a kind of a budget saltwater setup, I think this is a great option. Pair this up with a, with a nice, you know, 70 to hundred dollar rod on there and you've got a great great little saltwater setup that'll last you a long time you'll see a lot of guys pair these up with like ugly sticks and the main reason why is just because ugly sticks are absolutely bomb proof along with the pens so if you want a setup to target big game fish that is not going to break then that would be a great rod to pair it up with check out the ugly sticks they're also priced very similar to this uh some even cheaper so you know you're getting for less than 200 dollars you're getting raw Odd, reel and line to chase big fish which is cool i'm giving this a rating of eight out of ten i think it's a great option i think for a little bit extra money i think you can get a reel that is just as durable but a little bit lighter um, but other than that i think it's a great option solid it's gonna get you some big fish for sure if you guys want to see a review on the daiwa bg i will put that right here if you guys want to see a rod that would go very well with this for big game fish i will put that right here Hope you guys got a kick out of today's episode, and we'll see you guys next time on Humbug Videos.